If you are not resisting the devil, that's the action of accepting him. That's the action of allowing him to come and continue his attack. And this is where we see people who now have yokes in their lives. Weapons were formed against them, but they just let them come at them. They let them prosper. And when you do that, that's the action of opening the door and allowing that weapon to prosper and to just come on inside. And you start to see now the devil's portion over your life in certain areas. And you might wonder why, how did this happen? In, in many cases, it's because you were not executing your authority and you ended up actually just letting the devil take over and having authority over you. So the Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. It's really as simple as that. Because you have authority, when you resist him, it's a spiritual law. He's forced to flee. Just like how the police are in a place of authority and they, when those lights go on the siren behind your car, you have to pull over. There's no arguing it. When you resist the devil, as much as the devil will love to, he cannot argue it. He must obey your authority and he has to flee.